Hey, it's John Gallant. Today, I'm gonna show you how to connect to Azure from a GitHub action with OpenID Connect. Before OIDC, most of us would just create a service principle and pass in the dash dash SDK auth, stuff the output in a secret called Azure Credentials, and then use the Azure login action to authenticate with Azure. The problem is that included a password, passwords expire, passwords change, and maintenance was a problem. OID solves that problem by only needing the client ID, the tenant ID, and the subscription ID in the workflow. The official docs are here. I'm gonna to link to this repo and these docs in the description of this video. So here's how the OIDC connection works with GitHub and Azure. I'm gonna go into much more detail later in this video, but for now, let's quickly review. You need an Azure Active Directory application. You need a service principle. That service principal needs access to your Azure subscription, and it gets that by being assigned the contributor role. Your Azure AD application is going to need federated identity credentials set so that the OpenID Connect system can get a token that will work with your Azure subscription. You're going to need permissions inside of your workflow so that the token can work with your Azure subscription. And you're going to also need GitHub secrets, client ID, tenant ID, and subscription ID. Now, if you're interested in doing this once, just go to the portal, do it once, and you're done. But you're probably going to want to make it repeatable. The CLI instructions in the documentation are lacking, and they don't really get you all the way there. So I created this script called oidc.sh and published it to GitHub. The link will be in the description. You pass it an app name and a repo, and it will create all of these things for you and set everything up. You have two options for running this thing. You can do it inside of the dev container that's included inside of this repo. You could also set it up on bare metal. You need the Azure CLI. You need to log in. You need to set your account and you need the GitHub CLI. So your choice, dev container, super easy. And then you need to run it. So you just call oidc.sh. You pass it in the name of the app and the repo that you want to work with. Obviously you would change this to suit your needs. So I'm going to run you through everything in the script in a second, but I just want to let you know, like I created the script in a couple of hours. It's not perfect. It's really there as a tool to help you understand and learn how to do this. You can take the script and customize it to suit your needs. The graph team, the Azure CLI team, and the identity team, and the GitHub team are going to come out with a better dev experience, but this is what we have so far. This repo also includes a ci.yaml file all set up to use the secrets that we will create using the script. On the left, we have the OIDC script. And on the right, we have a PowerPoint presentation that I quickly put together to hopefully help you understand all the concepts you need to grok in order to set up OIDC. First, we need to install the Azure CLI and the GitHub CLI. When you open this project with the dev container, those two things are already installed. You run the script by passing it an app name and the repo that you want to target. Unfortunately, this does not yet work with GitHub code spaces, so you have to run this either in dev container or local bare metal. I filed an issue here, hopefully they fix that soon. This section here is all about logging you into the Azure CLI and the GitHub CLI. And then we're gonna get your subscription ID and your tenant. So over on the right here in my PowerPoint presentation, we have the tenant ID and the subscription ID. This part is first gonna check if you already have an app created with the same name, and then it's gonna create one if you do not. So let's add that on the right. We have the Azure AD application, and that has an app ID and object ID. Then we're gonna check if the service principle exists and create it if not. There's our service principle. So the service principle app ID maps to the Azure AD app ID. Then we're gonna call AZ role assignment create to give the service principle contributor access to the Azure subscription. And then we're gonna get the app object ID, which is needed to create the federated identity credentials. Right now, that is a REST post call to the Graph API, and we need to use the app object ID there. And then the body is a JSON object, which has a name, an issuer, a subject, and the subject it can be a pull request, it can be a branch, it can be an environment, you can see the full list of subjects and how to create them in the documentation, which I will link to in the description. Then we have description and we have an audience. If you want to create more federated identity credentials, you just copy and paste that line, change the subject and change the payload. If you want to view all of the federated identity credentials, you can call this endpoint. If you want to delete, you can call this endpoint. And you can also delete in the portal by going to this URL. It's then going to print out the Azure client ID, subscription ID, and tenant ID. 
and then it is going to save those values to the repo that is passed into this script so that it can be used as secrets in your GitHub workflow. Over on the right, you can see the GitHub secrets, client ID, tenant ID, and subscription ID. So over on the right, you can see all of the stuff that this script created for you. It created the Azure AD application, created the service principle, it did the role assignment, and created the app federated identity credentials and the GitHub secrets. Now let's take a look at what the GitHub workflow would look like to use OIDC. The first thing you need to do is add permissions ID dash token write and contents read. Contents read is needed when your GitHub repository is private. You're then going to use the Azure login action and pull the client ID, tenant ID, and subscription ID from the GitHub secrets. So over on the right, you can see what that looks like. You have the GitHub workflow, you got the workflow permissions, you have the Azure login GitHub action. The Azure login GitHub action will pull those secrets. It'll recognize that you're trying to do OIDC off. It'll call the OpenID Connect endpoint using those parameters, and it will use the federated identity credentials specifications that you posted to that REST endpoint to try and get that token. And we have another step in here to run a couple of Azure CLI commands just to verify that it is working. So now that we've done a full walkthrough of the script, let's run it and see what it outputs. It's going to check my Azure subscription login status. It's going to confirm my subscription. Then it's going to log me into the GitHub CLI, which I need to create the GitHub repo secrets. I'm already logged in. I'm not going to re-authenticate. I'm just going to hit enter. It's getting my sub ID and my tenant ID. Now it's going to create an Azure Active Directory application. The script contains a couple of sleep operations to make sure that the app and the service principle have time to be created and propagated. The service principle has been created. Now the role assignment is created and the federated identity credentials have been created and all of my GitHub secrets have been created. Now let's take a look at an action that uses the Azure login GitHub action in OIDC. So I just pushed some changes to a branch and I can see that the action is running on that change. Now you can see here that this failed because it says that there's no matching assertion for pull requests. Now this is something I've run into. And if you see that, you can go to the portal, find that application, and you can see that it does not have that pull request federated identity credential set. So I don't know what's happening, but if you rerun the script, it should create it. It'll reuse the existing app and service principle and then try and recreate the federated identity credentials. Okay, so I reran the script and it created the appropriate federated identity credential for pull requests. Inside of my GitHub workflow, you can see that it used the client ID, tenant ID, and subscription ID, and it's using OIDC authentication, and login was successful. Okay, that wraps it up. I know there was a ton of stuff to learn here and a ton of things that we covered. Of course, if you have any questions or run into any issues, you can either leave a comment below or you can file an issue in this repository, which I will link to in the description. Have a great day.